A similar question asked by Shadab Khatri, London, UK. Are all the hadith in siyasitta sahi? Are all the hadith in siyasat authentic? Siyasatta is actually a misnomer. Siyasatta means six sahi. It should be kutubu sitta. It is six books of hadith. So kutubu sitta is the right terminology for six books of hadith. Siyasatta is a misnomer. Siyasatta means six authentic books. The right terminology is kutubu sitta. Six books of hadith. And this kutubu sitta are the Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Abu Dawud, Sunan Tirmidhi, Sunan Nisai, and Ibn Majah. These six books, the scholars they say that if you read these six books of hadith, you will come to know most of the rulings in Islam. But the hadith in all the six books are not 100% authentic. The only books in which all the hadith are authentic and say, are Sahih Bukhari number one, then is Sahih Muslim. The remaining four books, Sunan Abu Dawud, Sunan Tirmidhi, Sunan Nisai, and Ibn Majah, in these four books, most of the hadith is Sahih, but not all 100%. So these six books the scholars say, if you read and you read the Quran, you will come to know most of the rulings in Islam. Most of it. Not 100%, but most of it. There's a small group of scholars who say that instead of Ibn Majah, there should be Imam Mu'atta Malik. So there's another small group of scholars who say the six books should contain, besides Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Abu Dawud, Sunan Nisai, Sunan Tirmidhi, it should contain Imam Mu'atta Malik, instead of Ibn Majah. That's a small group. But we agree that six books are there. If you want to join Imam Mu'atta Malik, it becomes seven. But most of the scholars say that Ibn Majah is included in this. So all the hadith of these six books, only the first two, Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari, all authentic. The remaining four, majority authentic, but not all. There is a great scholar of the recent time, a muhaddis, that is Sheikh Nasruddin al-Bani, what he did, he has divided the last four books of Qutb al-Sitta into Sahih and Zaif. He wrote this is Sahih and he differentiated the books of Hadith, the last four books, Sunan Abu Dawud, as Sahih Sunan Abu Dawud, Zaif Sunan Abu Dawud. Then he took the next book, Sunan Nisai, Sahih Sunan Nisai, Zaif Sunan Nisai. Then he took the next book, Sunan Tirmidhi, Sahih Sunan Tirmidhi, Zaif Sunan Tirmidhi. Then he took the last book, Ibn Majah. Sahih Ibn Majah, Zayf Ibn Majah. So the Silsila is Sahih. So if you read this Silsila is Sahih of Sheikh Nasr al-Albani, then you can come to know all the Sahih Hadith in the last four books of Qutb al-Sitta. He's done a great work. So this is how you can differentiate.